Hey guys, welcome to another World of Tanks replay. Uh, and today we're featuring American TN9 Tank Destroyer, the infamous T95. Uh, has several other names, including the Zoom Turtle. Um, ironically, because I guess it's such a slow tank. Um, but with the turbo, it goes a little quicker. Maybe if you get a Bond Turbo, even quicker than that. Now, I hadn't really thought about doing this line. I wasn't a big fan of non turret tanks. Um, I do like a turret. I'm getting into faster tanks now. I'm playing a lot more mediums and a lot more lights. So to go backwards to my tank destroyer roots. And then, on top of that, go for um, a non turret tank destroyer just seemed wrong. But it's top of the tree, or at least the 10 3 is top of the tree. So I found this one on the way there. And while I was getting there, I noticed that the uh, 25 AT, AT25, I played that and I was actually enjoying it quite a lot. And when I got onto the T28, I was like, this is a great tank. It's basically like the TS5, the premium tank. Um, are very similar, plays very similar. I think the stats are not quite as good, but I still enjoyed it. Um, maybe even a little bit more than I did the TS5. Anyway. Here we are on Prokhorovka, and I wasn't sure where to go. I normally go to the hill with my with my light tank or my uh, medium tank. And I'm like, do I really want to go to the 1-2 line? And I didn't think there was any choice. We've got three light tanks on both teams here. So if they can spot for us and they're wise about how they spot, um, we can do okay here. Now, I've seen other streamers take heavy tanks, things like the mouse and push them down this line and just pushed and pushed and pushed. But we don't need to. We don't need to go spotting. At least not yet. Um, and uh, of course we've got pesky EBR to take care of. Now, a sensible way to make your way down this line, regardless of what tank you're in, but especially if you're in a light tank, I find is to do what I'm doing in the T25, is to pick your way through the bushes. Try not to knock the trees down, which I have. I've knocked a few down. Uh, I can't hit the T30 because he's behind my other T95. Now, aim, boom. Of course, we've got the big gun on, on this tank. And we rolled a little bit high there. I think 850 is the real alpha, or the, the mean alpha for this gun. And we got 850. And we helped take out the T30. So that's a bonus. So this is really starts off as a battle of, of the lights. Um, and our LT432 is um, it's kind of doing some good work. I think he's doing the right thing. He's sneaking his way up the line but that EBR is going to spot him and sure enough he ends up dead um, my my other T95 has pushed a little harder than I have and I think he's been spotted probably by the bat chat 12T there and uh, I spot or I shoot at the enemy T95 of course I shoot in the wrong spot but I do hold my aim now so at least now when he disappears I might get a blind shot in who knows did I hit? Did I not? We'll find out at the end of the battle. Um, anyway, we've lost the light tank. Enemies have lost the light tank and a tank destroyer. And uh, still even Stevens here. Now, if you notice, I, I preloaded the gold here. I know. But I knew I was going to be up against the, uh, the T-30 and the T-95 on this flank. I, I thought that was uh, a foregone conclusion. And sure enough... Um, that that's what we've taken shots at so far. It seems a shame to waste them on the EBR. But if I could just take this EBR out, that would be fantastic. Um, of course, I'm worried now that if the EBR spots me, then get some uh, get shot by the, 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 the heavies over in the centre of the map there. But they're still beyond the ridge line, So until I do get spotted, and I'm surprised I haven't been. Maybe I'm just being uh, uh, nice and quiet here. I don't have a camo crew on this, I think. You know, it was kind of advisable once you get to this level, if you've only got a couple of skills on your crew, um, is, is certainly to concentrate on repairs. Um, I've got hardening um, on here as well to increase uh, suspension um, durability. Um, because once you get tracked in this thing, that's when the mediums and the light tanks can get your rear and really go to town on you. And I guess my uh, my friend there in the other T95 has, has had enough of being slapped. And the EBR is running away. I don't know. Um, he's doing the EBR thing. He's he's just running around the map like in, in his climb car, hoping to spot things. 
Um, if he just got in the bushes and he crept up, and I think I suggest this to him in a little while, because we need this vision. Uh, none of us can do anything. There's the lights, or the thinly armoured, more thinly armoured TDs behind us. There's the, the T-95 and my T-95 uh, and some heavies here. But So the EBR's up there. He looks like he did spot the T-95. Let's see if we can hit him correctly this time. Yes, we do. And it didn't look like we hit that blind shot, did it? Because we didn't, we didn't shave any, any hit points off him. Um, but of course, <laughs> we lost our light. They lost another one of their lights. And now we have no vision. Let's take a blind shot there at something. Maybe it was the T95 again. I was still, uh, I was still holding aim on him, but, uh, but no, I guess he's still there. So we're down one tank. Um, enemy are slightly ahead. I think they're down on hit points though. Uh, obviously, I'm still on full hit points. The Scorpion, Scorpion's lost a few. Stratzvan's doing okay. Now we're the T95's not doing too bad. But now we're kind of at a stalemate because we don't want to push forward. It would be nice if we got one of the uh, the mediums off the hill. I think there's there's only one other tank, enemy tank on that hill. We, we could maybe do with a Kunzer Panzer down here. But he probably wants to work the ridge line. He doesn't want to come down here. Um, and it all goes quiet. It all goes quiet and nobody wants to do anything. Um... <laughs> My t mother T95 is like, we need vision, and uh, the, the tigers wiggle your way forward. <laughs> and then I asked the Kunza, do you have good vision? I know he probably does have good vision. Um, we have a nice little conversation here. It's nice to see um, teammates actually talking to each other. That's always a bonus, isn't it? And at this point, I just said, you know what? I'm going to YOLO. So I switch over to fall over the back of this ridge line because I don't want to get the cross shots from the KV-4 and the Tiger-2 in the middle. Um, I don't have great vision on this tank. I don't have optics. Um, and there I go, I get spotted. I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to get shot at. Am I going to get shot at? Yep, so there's a, there's a Camp Panzer 105 up the back. Can we spot him? And we're going to use our, our dead light tank um, ironically and push down the one two line because obviously in the t95 you need the extra ammo or the extra armor don't you and oh we've we've spotted the light or someone spotted the light can we take him out i guess we can um so we're doing a bit of uh quite a lot of blocking here um which is is not unusual for a t95 let's face it it does have fantastic armor but it does have weak points um, if you have enough accuracy to hit them at distance, that is. And uh, what's that? War Hero 123. Can we get spotters in the east, please? We've got them. We're doing it. Don't worry about it, man. We're all over it. So I'm just going to keep pushing. A, a massive four kilometers per hour here. Been spotted again. I don't care. The only thing that allows this to happen here, I think, is that the fact there's no arty in this game. If there is any SPGs, we'd have been splattered here. We'd have been hammered. Um, how are the weenies, Scorp? And well, I guess I guess that's a camping reference there in chat. Um, but you know what? You, why why would they want to come up? Why would they want to come up? We've got all the armor. We're carrying. Um, we're carrying the armor forward. We're getting the spots we need. Um, although, like I say, we are doing it an incredibly slow speed. We're up to five. I think we hit six there. I might have even seen a seven. But that's what we're kind of pushing against now. So we're trying to hide our weak points. There's, there's the other T95 still there. I can't see him running away. Don't know where we would have got to. Uh, it looks like there's a T56 here. And there's still a couple of tanks that have been left unspotted. What else do we have? I guess we'll find out. Push, 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 and here comes the Tiger 2 to the rescue. Look at that, he doubles our speed. Look at that for a train. Um, SU-130 up there, but I can't really turn because, <laughs> one, I'll get hit in the side if I get spotted. Um, but I'm kind of in a sandwich as well at the moment. And there's the T-95. Nothing I can do about him because I can't actually shoot over this tank that I'm pushing. Um... Somebody else takes him out anyway. 
But we've got our, we've got two kills in this game already, so we shouldn't be too. Uh, and I, I try and take a look at this SU-130 before I realise he's, he's actually over the other side of the ridge at this point. Uh, the Kunzer Panzer is over there, but there's still two tanks, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be up here. Um, that T-56 miss. A camping T-56, well, I guess he was, but um, judging by his. Uh, his strawberry colour there, we know he's a new player. And I make a mistake here. I tried to shoot the arm with the T-56 instead of going for the, uh, the, the, the 263. Somebody's tracked him now. And for some reason, I don't know why, I've got him on auto-aim. I just pull off auto-aim and take his lower plate. And, uh, and there we go. But how many hit points did we lose? I mean, we blocked almost 5k damage. We did, <laughs> we did nearly 3k spotting, and I, I swear I've got less than 400 view range. I've got like 388, I'm sure, I don't know. Uh, and I congratulate, it was a great push. It was a great push. We all did it together. We all pushed together. Um, this tank has been a revelation. This is like my third battle, and uh, I'm having a great time. Not as much damage as I have in other battles, but overall, fantastic. So victory on Prokhorovka in our spotting scouting setup on the t95 of course it's not a spotting um it, i think we have hardening we have a gun rammer and we have a turbo obviously but we do we, we i think we did more spotting than our lights only a second class here no big deal that's not what this was about this was about you know pushing using the armor a lot of tds just you get trained to sit at the back this is what i did in all the early games and this was about pushing forward and and taking one for the team or actually just bouncing a whole bunch for the team uh we don't have a fantastic crew on here yet um what's it three and a half skills on the commander and then uh almost two skills on the uh on the rest of the guys uh brothers in arms and like i said before um we have repairs I, I'm not sure what I should do next here, whether I should go for things like clutch braking, uh, smooth ride would help. Um, or is it not smooth ride? The one that reduces the, um, the the ground resistances. I think that would be good. Or whether I just go for camo, um, which is only good until you fire this big massive gun and then it drops massively. I think you could probably get this up to like 30% camo, but as soon as you fire it, it goes down to like 2%. Um, anyway yeah so three kills did a bunch of damage made some credits and uh let's just take a quick look at the uh at the team score there yeah well we came top on experience and i think that was our spotting i can't believe we didn't get a spotting badge but never mind um didn't quite come top on on damage uh what were we third fourth maybe on damage uh, which is a shame for this tank like i say i think in my second game i got four and a half k damage in this tank didn't know what i was doing but it worked pretty well um Anything else to look at in the uh, detail report? I don't think really. Only fired 10 shots, but that's enough to uh, to get a lot of damage in this tank should you penetrate everything and should you hit everything. Um, so yeah, T95. Never thought I would like it. I've seen it played so many times. I've seen so many content creators cover it. And I was like, yeah, not for me. But it was top of the tree or it was on the line to the top of the tree. And I thought, why not? So there you go, guys. Why not? If you're still here, thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time and see what we're going to take a look at. Take care now. Bye.